A wave can be characterized by its amplitude and its wavelength. So I'm going to draw a wave. This is our origin or central line. Our wave goes above and below that origin or central line. The highest point on the wave is called the crest. The lowest point on the wave is called the trough or trough. The vertical height from the origin or the central line to the top of the crest or from the origin or central line down to the trough or trough is called the amplitude. The wavelength is the distance between two adjacent crests or between two analogous points. So right here we have a second crest. This distance is our wave length. Wave length has a Greek letter symbol that is associated with it, and that is the lambda. It can also be between two analogous points, meaning two of the same type of points on the wave. So let's pick this point right here. So it's after it's gone through the trough or trough, um, it's hitting the central line for the second time. So we go up, we go all the way back down, and then here it is going to cross over after hitting the trough again, the central or origin line. So this distance would also be classified as a wave length. Wavelength can be measured in meters, nanometers, micrometers, and then sometimes kilometers or kilometers.